And about set to tip this one off. It'll be Davis and Childs at the center. KU controls the tip out to Natalie Knight and out of the point guard, Angel Goodrich. Again, Goodrich out of Tahlequah, Oklahoma, averaging eight, almost nine assists per contest. She's going to get stripped on the far side, and I believe it'll go out of bounds, last touched by her, and so an early turnover here back to the Wildcats. Now what Kansas was looking for come off from the start, but head coach Bonnie Henderson claps her hand, says, all right, we, look, we knew what we were looking for. Let's get back on defense here and make something happen. So here comes Brittany Chambers now into Brown and the Wildcats' first possession, top of the key. Now back out here to White, the leading assist leader for the Wildcats. Now back out here to Childs. Down low to White in the paint. She's going to take the layup. No. Rebound, though, pulled down offensive that time by Brown. But it's going to be, I believe she'll get a tip, just step on the line just a bit, and it'll be turned over here back to the Jayhawks. Here's Goodrich. Goodrich right on top of the Jayhawk, getting it across the timeline here, working left side. Gets it over to Engelman. Engelman averaging 15 points per game in the last four games. She's going to take the stop and pop just inside the three-point line. Missed, a little bit too hard off the back. Got to slow it down. There's so much time left in this game for Kansas. Don't rush those shots. you got a long shot clock. Here's White, right side. Now back in to Tasha Dickey, getting her first touch of the contest. She's going to drive just over to the, the right side of the paint. They should now back out to Brown. Brown at the elbow, now back over to White. Long three will be taken by Chambers, no. Long rebound pulled down by Carolyn Davis. Air ball that time from Chambers. Here's Angel Goodrich now, Natalie Knight. Knight back out to Davis. Davis gonna stop just about a foot inside the three point line and knock that one home. Carolyn Davis showing her range. If Childs is gonna leave Davis out there, she's gonna hit that shot all day long. She's one of the best big women in the country. 2-0 early lead, just about a couple minutes into this contest, 18-25 to play in the first half. No look pass, back door will be thrown into Tasha Dickey for two points. Defensively right now, the Jayhawks look a little bit tired, they look a little bit slow. Not coming out of this game with the, with the energy and, and enthusiasm they might need to come out with a victory uh, tonight. Here's Goodrich, left side. Now the Knight, the only freshman on this team to start all 13 games, now into Engelman. Now back over to Aisha Sutherland at the elbow. She's going to take, it looks like a three miss. Long rebound pulled down by Dickey and the Wildcats. And it's still very sloppy play here. A lot of poor shots being thrown up. Kansas one for 50% uh, from the field, but two very bad shots that they've taken. 2-2 two -two with 17-41 to play here in this first half. Chambers now right side at the point, setting up the offense. Gets into White, Mariah White. Top of the key looking to get it down low. Nobody there. Going to drive left side to get a screen, put up the jump shot, no. Rebound pulled down by Brown, Brenchia Brown. Now here comes Chambers driving the, ba driving the paint, pulls it out. Now back out to Dickey. Dickey guarded here by Goodrich. Good defense so far by the Jayhawks. Against Carolyn Davis, here's a shot by Brown, and she knocks that one home. A lead now for the Wildcats, 4-2. to two. Here's Angel Goodrich, right side. This is out to Engelman. Now down low to Carolyn Davis, and that is the Jayhawks' bread and butter. Inside, outside, Carolyn Davis for two points. Tie game, 4-4. There's a reason Carolyn Davis is the go-to person for this Kansas Jayhawks team. That's Kansas women's basketball right there at its finest. Dickey now left side, just outside the wing. Again, K-State sporting their away purple jerseys, a white trim and white numbering. K Kansas, of course, in their whites with red and blue trim and numbering and a shot will be taken, a floater that time, put in by the Wildcats, 6-4. to four. Now here comes a streaking Angel Goodrich straight up the lane. Four shot that time, almost a travel here right in front of us by Childs, but no call, gets it back over to Mariah White, and they'll set up the offense. Working right to left are the Wildcats here on offense now. Branchia Brown, out the elbow, looking to get it down low. She's going to take it herself now over right side. Not anybody even close to her. Cross-court pass now to Chambers. Long three. Yes! Brittany Chambers to the three-point basket. So a 9-4 to four lead here for the Wildcats. Just under 16, 16 minutes to play here in this first half already. And the Wildcats a 9-4 to four lead. Here's Goodrich. Left side. Goodrich, top of the key. Now back to Engelman. Over to the right. Gets a screen from Davis. Engelman going to take the stop and pop yes on that one. Just inside the three-point arc, Engelman rings home in two. So you can kind of start to see Kansas right now. They're slowing it down. They're working their, their offense a little bit more, taking better shots. Still 50% from, uh, from the field, three for six. Chambers now into Brown. Brown at the elbow. Here's White. No, oh, excuse me, that'll be Dickey. Now back over 
to Chambers and pass will be go oh, out of bounds. Well, not touched by anybody, so the Jayhawks will get it back, but with that, we'll take our first media timeout here, nine to six, a three-point lead early after with about 15-21 to play here in this first half, the Wildcats on top of your Kansas Jayhawks. You're listening to Jayhawk basketball on the student home for KU Sports, 90.7 FM and KJHK.